Hi, this is the Hit List for the Edmonton Journal for the third week of December. Well, it's certainly one of the biggest stories here in Edmonton all year, and it has dominated our coverage this week. Nine members of the Wild Rose Caucus, including leader Danielle Smith, have crossed the floor to the Conservatives. It's a staggering and unprecedented move, and certainly is going to change the political landscape here in Alberta. It's something people have been talking about around the country, and we have lots of stories and columns and videos online. And you'll want to check out our weekly political podcast, The Press Gallery, where our writers are going to talk about just what this might mean for the province. The other story we've been talking about all week is the firing of Oilers head coach Dallas Aikens. The Oilers are in the NHL basement with an abysmal record. Two weeks ago, GM Craig McTavish said the team was going to stay the course, but on Monday he decided to fire Aikens. Mac T and interim coach Todd Nelson are now behind the bench. But will the change make a difference? Well, it's hard to say. It's not clear Eakins was the problem. Our hockey writers have been all over that this week. And finally, it's that time of year when you want to sit back on your couch and watch your favourite Christmas movies. Did you know that several holiday films have been shot right here in Edmonton? You're forgiven if you don't. It seems many of them are rather terrible, despite having Hollywood actors like Tim Curry, Rob Lowe and Patrick Swayze in them. Reporter Tom Murray has six of these movies that you might want to watch next week when you're so full of turkey you can't get off the couch. For links to all these stories, look below or go to edmontonjournal.com slash the hit list.